Perkei Avot, Ethics of Our Fathers, Chapter 5, Mishnah 14. Arba Midot Boholche Bet HaMidrash. There are four types of people amongst those who attend the house of study. Hoylech Ve'eno Ase, one who attends but does not engage in the study. Schad Alicha Bayodoi, he gets the reward for attending, for traveling the distance to get to the study hall. He engages in Torah study. He doesn't go, doesn't attend. He gets the reward for engaging in Torah study. One who attends and engages. Chassid, this is the pious one. Does not attend and does not engage. Rasha, this is the wicked. Now the Mishnah is very curious. Number one. The introduction is, there are four amongst those who attend the house of study. But two out of the four are actually not attending. Two out of the four is, one of them is the one who engages in Torah study but doesn't actually go. And he gets the reward for engaging. And the other one is the one who does not attend and does not engage. So why are we saying there are four amongst those who attend the house of study when in fact, two of them are not actually attending the, t- the uh, house of study? Question number one. Question number two is, What's most curious is the fact that the word lomed, study, is not to be found in this Mishnah. It says the one who goes, but doesn't ose, doesn't engage in Torah study. The literal word there is ose, which means to do or to make. And we're translating here to be engage. And we understand it means engage in Torah study, but it doesn't say so explicitly. Why doesn't it say, holech, he goes, lomed and studies. Or lomed, he studies, v'lo holech, but doesn't go. Why are we calling it ose? doing or making or engaging so perhaps and as we suggested here a number of times the Rebbe insists that all of Perk Yavot, all of ethics of our fathers is speaking to someone who's already fulfilling that which the code of Jewish law requires and this is a question of going beyond the letter of the law and therefore we might therefore say that all four people here are attending the house of study literally and they're actually learning to The question is, what kind of learning? And there are two elements within learning beyond just the actual study. Number one is holech. He's going. He's advancing in his learning. He's not stuck at a plateau where he has his daily regiment of study. He follows it, and that's it. But rather holech. He's constantly growing in his study, getting to higher and higher levels, learning more and more and more. It's one type of learning. Another type of learning is ose. Ose means that he takes that which he has learned and internalizes it. He makes himself match the levels and ideas that he's studying about. And therefore, there's one person who can go to the study house, house of study, learn Torah, does stagnant learning, doesn't engage in his Torah study in the sense that he doesn't incorporate it into his personal life to advance and his, uh, you know, academic achievements aren't advancing. So he's not advancing in academia, not halech. He's not advancing in the engagement and in incorporating his Torah study into his life, not in the Oseh. It's one level. Then you can have someone who has one without the other, a person who goes to study, and he's advancing in his levels of study, one level to another level, getting higher and higher in his understanding of Torah, but he doesn't Oseh. He doesn't make himself go along with those levels that he's learning about. And then you have the person who incorporates that which he is learning, but it stays at one level. He doesn't grow in that which he's learning, even though he's incorporating that one level that he has. He's oseh, but not holech. And then you have the ultimate. The person is holech. He's advancing in his learning to higher and higher levels and oseh. And he makes himself and his own personal life in accord with that which he's learning. He incorporates it into his experience and personal life.